Okay. Good day, dear students. I hope you, uh, you are doing well. My name is Miriam Kurmanaliva, histology teacher, and uh, today's um, topic is histology of heart and blood vessels. Uh, content of today's lecture, learning objectives, uh, these are histological features of cardiac muscles, epicardium, endocardium, uh, histological features of the Purkinje fibers, uh, histological features of the elastic artery, muscular artery, and arteriole, histological features of the large and medium vein, venule, and histological features of capillaries. Uh, let's talk about cardiac muscle. Uh, cardiac muscle is uh, striated, involuntary. Uh, it has a single centrally placed nucleus. Sometimes it can be two nucleus. And uh, it has intercollected discs. Uh, are, they are encoring structures containing gap junctions. And the uh, cardiac muscle cells are fi uh, faintly striated, uh, branching mononucleated cells, which connect uh, by means of intercalated discs uh, to form a functional network. The action potential travels through all cells connected together, forming a functional syncytium, in which cells function as a unit. And here you can see a nucleus. Uh, this is schematically, and this is histological uh, uh, diagram. This is nucleus, uh, gap junctions, uh, intercalated discs with uh, gap junctions. Here you can see and striations. And uh, covering of the heart, let's talk about pericardium. Uh, this is pericardium, and the membrane surrounds to protect heart consists of two principal portions, fibrous pericardium and serous pericardium. Uh, fibrous pericardium is uh, superficial, tough, inelastic, dense irregular connective tissue, uh, prevent overstretching of heart, provide protection, and then core of the uh, heart to mediastinum. And uh, serous pericardium is deeper, thinner, a more delicate membrane that form a double layer around the heart. Outer parietal, parietal or serous pericardium fused to fibrous pericardium. And visceral layer of serous pericardium is epicardium. Uh, about heart wall. Uh, heart uh, comprises of three layers. Epicardium, external layer, uh, myocardium, middle layer, and endocardium, inner layer. Epicardium. Epi, this is mean on top of, uh, this is visceral layer of the serous pericardium, thin and uh, transparent outer layer of the wall, composed mesothelium and connective tissue. Myocardium. Maya, this is mean muscle, composed cardiac muscle tissue, responsible for pumping action, uh, stratified, involuntary and in it has uh, intercalating bundles. Endocardium. And though this is mean within, this is a thin layer of, uh, composed of uh, smooth muscle. And uh, the outer outmost layer is composed of regularly arranged collagen fibers uh, that merge uh, with collagen surrounding edges and cardiac muscle fibers. This layer may contain some Purkinje fibers which are part of the impulse conducting system. On this diagram, we can see uh, the heart wall. Mm, this is a coronary artery with a branch into myocardium. This is myocardium. Uh, this is pericardium, uh, sac around heart, heart uh, myocardium, and endocardium. The thickest the layer is myocardium, which composed of cardiac muscle, as you remember. And the endocardium, this is a uh, uh, inner li lining, as you remember. And the uh, epicardium is outer, and myocardium is middle. Uh, this is ventricular wall, ventricular wall. And uh, on this diagram, 
It is shown histological structure of uh, cardiac muscle also. Uh, here we can see junction between edges and cells. Uh, this is cardiac muscle as you see and uh, branching striated cells fused at plasma membranes. Uh, common location of wall of heart. Uh, this is uh, especially for cardiac uh, for heart. This is uh, these cells we can find only in heart cardiac muscle. Function. Pumping of blood in the circulatory system. Purkinje fibers. Uh, these are specialized cardiac muscle fibers. Uh, are located in the inner ventricular walls of the heart, just beneath the endocardium. These fibers are, uh, as I told you, are specialized myocardial fibers that conduct an electrical st stimulus or impulse that enables the heart to contract in a coordinated fashion. Here we can see a histological structure also of heart wall and the uh, Purkinje fibers we can see here. Uh, <coughs> here are Purkinje fibers. Uh, this is endothelium of uh, endocardium. This is endocardium layer. Uh, endothelium in the innermost layer. Uh, as you remember, endothelium, this is a sp simple squamous uh, epithelium. Uh, ventricular myocardium, uh, this is also endocardium, uh, per Purkinje fibers, connective tissue, and cardiac muscle fiber. This is cross section, and uh, this is a longitudinal section of heart wall. Here also we can see cardiac muscle and Purkinje fibers. Uh, one else diagram about heart wall, uh, con contracting cardiac muscle fibers and impulse conducting Purkinje fibers. Stain uh, Mallory Azen. Here we can see the Purkinje fibers, the cross section. Uh, this is endocardium with a simple squamous epithelium or endothelium and uh, this is capillary uh, sub and the cardial connective tissue uh, here we can see this one blue color this and uh, here also Purkinje fibers this is arteriole we will discuss about this later in this lecture Intercalated discs, here are uh, cardiac muscle fiber, longitudinal section, here, with the striations, as you see. This is venule, also we'll discuss this later, and cardi cardiac muscle fibers uh, transverse uh, section. And about blood vessels, there are five main types of blood vessels. Uh, these are arteries, arterioles, capillaries, venules, and veins. And on this diagram, we can see uh, different types of uh, veins and arteries. Uh, here it is a large artery, um, for example, aorta. It has uh, tunica externa, tunica media, tunica interna or intima, endothelium and elastic uh, layer. Uh, it has and medium-sized artery, for example, arteriole. Uh, it has tunica externa, tunica media, tunica interna. We will discuss more detail about this uh, in next slides. This is uh, also. Uh, no, this is artery, uh, aorta, artery, arteriole, and capillary. And this is a large vein, for example, uh, vena cava, inferior, and uh, vein, venule, and capillary also. Types of arteries. There are three types of arteries, elastic artery, muscular arteries, and arterioles. Uh, the liminal diameter of artery gradually decreased with the each branching. And uh, we'll have three tunics layers. 
a tunica interna, intima, from uh, innermost, tunica media, and tunica externa. Tunica interna, or intima, composed of simple squamous epithelium, uh, also called endothelium, and the layer of elastic tissue, internal elastic lamina, uh, closest to lumen. Tunica media. Uh, thickest layer, elastic, it, uh, composed of uh, elastic fiber and smooth muscle fibers arranged in ring around lumen. And tunica externa, composed principally of elastic and collagen fibers. Elastic arteries, uh, also called conducting arteries, mm, largest uh, blood vessel in the body, uh, larger in diameter, and tunica media contain high proportion of elastic fiber. Uh, this is difference between elastic arteries and muscular arteries. Uh, you should pay attention uh, for this. And please remember um, that tunica media contain high proportion of elastic fiber. Uh, example, aorta and pulmonary trunk. It prevents the rupturing of blood vessels when uh, blood pressure is high. And muscular arteries. Uh, or also called distributing arteries because uh, they are distributing the blood uh, to um, our organs and tissues and cells. Uh, most numerous vessels in the body, medium size, uh, tunica media contain high proportion of smooth muscle fiber. And uh, as you see the difference in this, the tunica media um, muscular arteries uh, contain high proportion of smooth muscle fiber. Uh, this is necessary to uh, contracting of uh, her, um, blood vessel to distribute the blood to other uh, organs which are far from heart. Example, mm, brachial artery or popliteal artery. Next. Arterial, uh, small artery. Uh, the smallest branches of arterial system. The wall of arteriole consists of one to five layers of smooth muscle fibers. And arteriole deliver blood to the capillaries, which are microscopic blood vessels that connect arteriole with the venules. And differences uh, between artery and vein. Uh, artery, uh, thick and elastic muscular walls it has. No valves, uh, carriers of oxygenated blood. Exception, pulmonary arteries which carry deoxygenated blood from the heart to the lungs. Uh, from anatomy, I, uh, I, I think you know about this. Vein, uh, thin and uh, slightly muscular walls. And it has internal valves to prevent back flow of blood and the veins carry deoxygenated blood. Exception, pulmonary veins which carry oxygenated blood from the lungs to the heart. And uh, this is histological structure of artery and vein. As you see on this diagram, they are different. And um, for example, this is small artery. And here we can see tunica intima. Uh, and the uh, endothelium inside, uh, subendothelial connective tissue, internal elastic lamina membrane, and the tunica media, smooth muscle fibers, and tunica adventitia, the outermost layer. And this is connective tissue surrounding the blood vessels. And this is vein, a uh, small vein. Uh, here uh, also tunica intima, you can see, uh, composed of endothelium and uh, basal membrane. Tunica media, as you see, it is more thinner than in artery. And tunica adventitia, also. We can see here. As you see that um, blood and veins are more darker because this is deoxygenated blood.
and uh, also one diagram about <coughs> histological structure. Here you can see mm, this is artery, uh, and uh, here also you can see tunica intima or endothelium uh, with the b b elastic lamina, internal elastic lamina, and tunica media mm, with elastic fibers. This is elastic artery, elastic fibers and uh, external lamina there are el this uh, here are um, elastic fibers and uh, smooth muscle fibers also in elastic arteries smooth m fibers smooth muscle fibers are less than in muscular uh, artery mm. and here uh, external la uh, elastic lamina we can see here and tunica adventitia and mm, here are collagen fibers and elastic fibers and this is a muscular artery vein the vein uh, contains also uh, three layers uh, tunica intima tunica media and tunica adventitia as you see mm, this is venule smaller uh, vein and the artery also smaller and this is a adipose tissue stain uh, here elastic stain a transverse section of uh, muscular artery and vein and uh, here we can see more detail uh, structure uh, of artery uh, wall, wall of artery uh, hematoxylin and eosin stains uh, this is a tunica intima you can see here with the basal lamina and uh, this is tunica media and adventitia this uh, smooth muscle fibers and connective tissue and here also we can see uh, the same diagrams small artery uh, this is small vein uh, here we can see uh, also when you and the lymphatic vessels Lymphatic whistle we will discuss on next lecture. Uh, it has also valves, valves like uh, veins and edible cells. And this is a enlarged diagram of uh, wall of large vein, portal vein, uh, transverse section, stain uh, hematoxylin and eosin. Here we can see more detailed structure of vein. And this is endothelium. You can see here the nu uh, dark dots. These are nucleus of uh, simple squamous epithelium cells, epithelial cells. Uh, Subendothelial connective tissue here with the fibrocytes and uh, nucleus of fibrocytes. Smooth muscle fibers, uh, circular. Mm -hmm. uh, also, we can see nucleus here. As you remember, the smooth, smooth muscles have only one nucleus, centrally placed. And uh, here are also smooth muscle fibers, the longitudinal section, the bundles of uh, smooth muscle fibers. And uh, here we can see vasa vasorum, I will discuss about later, the arteriole, uh, venules and capillary. And this is a uh, heart, right ventricle, pulmonary trunk, and pulmonary valve. Stain, hematoxylin, and eosin. Uh, this is a pulmonary trunk. Mm, this is epicardium, the outermost layer of heart wall. Uh, sub and uh, sub epicardial connective tissue. You can see here and adipose tissue coronary uh, arterial and venule, uh, the myocardium, the middle layer of heart wall, and the inner layer of heart wall, the endocardium, of, uh, this is of right ventricle. And here it is annulus uh, fibrosis of heart wall and the endocardium of sem uh, semilunar pulmonary valve and connective tissue core. 
and here it is pulmonary trunk with the uh, tunica intima, tunica media and tunica adventitia. And uh, here we can see uh, types of, uh, this is a muscular artery, types of vessels. Muscular artery and uh, large vein. It has a valve, valve you can see here. Uh, it prevents uh, the flow, um, back flow of blood and the um, endothelium, subendothelial uh, layer, and tunica media, and tunica adventitia. This is nerve and vasa vasorum. And this is muscular artery. This is inner layer endothelium with the subendothelial layer and the elastic uh, lamina, internal elastic lamina, smooth muscle, elastic fibers, and external elastic uh, lamina, and tunica adventitia. Here we can see. Here also we can see nerve and vasa vasorum. And three types of capillaries, uh, sinusoidal capillary, or discontinuous fenestrated capillary, and uh, continuous capillary. We will discuss about this in the next slides. Capillaries. Microscopic vessel uh, that uh, connect arterial to venule. Capillary wall composed of only a single layer of endothelial cell and a base mem membrane. You should remember about this, guys. Uh, and no tunica media and no tunica externa. And peri uh, percular uh, protruding uh, nucleus in the lumen. Here we can see a uh, fenestrated capillary. Three types of capillaries can be uh, fenestrated, then discontinuous, or continu and continuous. And, uh, and what are the what is the difference between these uh, three capillaries? Mm -hmm. Uh, this here complete basal lamina. We can see here in fenestrated capillaries uh, complete basal lamina and uh, fenestrated and endothelial uh, lining, lining. Here we can see fenestrations, but uh, basal lamina is complete. In continuous capillaries and basal lamina and uh, endothelial lining both are complete, as we can see here. In discontinuous capillary, incomplete basal lamina and fenestrated in the lining. As you see here, uh, both has uh, fenestrations and pores. Uh, uh, here, more detail about uh, three types of capillaries. In continuous uh, plasma membrane of endothelial cells form a continuous tube found in skeletal muscle, central nervous system, skin, gonads, uh, connective tissue, and lungs. Fenestrated capillaries. Plasma membrane of endothelial cells have many small pores ranging from uh, 70 to 100 nanometers in diameter. Found in endocrine glands, intestines, pancreas, and glomeruli of kidney and discontinuous or sinusoidal, wider and more winding than other capillaries. It has large pores, as you s remember from previous slide, and primarily located in the liver, spleen, bone marrow, lymph nodes, and adrenal cortex. And uh, let's discuss about vasa vasorum. Uh, this is a network of small blood vessels uh, that supply large blood vessels. This is because uh, the wall of larger arteries and veins are too thick to receive nourishment, direct diffusion from their lumina. And uh, venules. Uh, several capillaries form small veins. The smallest venules, are those closest to the capillaries, consists of a tunica interna and the endothelium and tunica media that has only a few scattered smooth muscle fiber and fibroblast. Here uh, we can see this histology of venules. This is venule, 
and this is vanilla also and here we can see veins same as tunica in arteries but no different in thickness tunica in turn a more thinner a uh, little smooth muscle and elastic fiber tunica external of veins a thickest layer collagen and elastic fibers when a cava uh, longitudinal fiber or smooth muscle veins veins like external or internal elastic lamina found in arteries and here you can see a wall of uh, large vein a hematoxylin and eosin stain here uh, this is tunica intima tunica media uh, with uh, uh, smooth muscle less smooth muscle and collagen fibers uh, and tunica adventitia smooth muscle muscles are less as uh, like small bundles here you can see Uh, thank you for attention. Our lecture is finished. Uh, first part of cardiovascular system and uh, see you in next lecture. Have a nice day. Bye.